I want to close out with some tips and tricks for finishing up your schedule logic. In the next section of our schedule, from your training manual, you'll notice our interior finish has approximately 13 activities. In these activities, I've intentionally put these out of order. Let me show you a trick. Using our link activities, I can highlight activities in the order that I want to link them. Since these are out of order, I want to go drywall, tape and texture, paint, and then my ceiling grid. Right click, link those activities, and notice how they link them in the order that I selected them. I can do the same thing if I want to put activities in between a couple of others. Once I know what the sequence is, I can begin linking those activities. Ceiling grid, my finished electrical is going to go in between that and my acoustical ceiling tile, and I link those activities. Now I can go down through the rest of my activities and link activities in the order that I want to put them in. Now that I have all of these activities tied together, I can go on to my last section. These two activities I want to link together, I click Link Activities. So that's the first step in building logic, is going down through each one of my WBS elements and linking the individual groups of activities. The second phase of completing my schedule logic is linking the individual groups of activities together. My survey and staking, I'm going to start that after mobilization. I use my linking tool to do that. My layout and grade pad is going to start after my excavate and grade. I can zoom out a little bit. My structural steel is going to start after my cure slab. My roof joist and decking is going to start my exterior framing. My interior framing to start immediately after my exterior framing. So I link those together. My drywall, I want to have follow my insulation. I link that. But I also want my roof membrane on so that my activities are dried. Once again, I zoom out a little bit. Come down to my last set of activities, my finished site grading. I want that to follow my roof membrane. Now, I can use my assign button at the bottom in my resources window under my relationships and I can find my roof activity. Roof membrane right there. That's going to allow me to start my exterior finishes. Each one of these groups of activities now has a predecessor, with the exception of my final plan. So my third step in completing my schedule logic is going through each section and making sure there's a completion activity. I'm skipping my final plan. That has its own issue. I'm going to tie my trailer setup and fencing to my underground utilities to make sure I have fencing for all my materials stored. All of these have a finish activity. The only ones that don't have a finish activity is my test and balance in my base and pay parking lot. My test and balance activity needs a successor, so I select a sign. One of the advantages of this relationships tab at the bottom is I can search type final and there is my final clean activity. In a small schedule it's not that big of a deal but if you have thousands of activities it's going to be very handy to have the search feature available. And Once I have it open I can just select another activity on the left and assign the same successor using my assign window. Now all of my activities have successors. I can tie my final clean to substantial completion, link it, and I have a complete baseline schedule with predecessors and successors for each activity.